In the vast, silent darkness of the cosmos, long before Earth had oceans, mountains, or even an atmosphere, there was chaos. A swirling maelstrom of dust and gas drifted through space, cold and unremarkable. Yet hidden within this cosmic haze was the potential for everything you've ever known. Every planet, every moon, every grain of sand on Earth's shores. The story of our solar system begins not with calm creation, but with destruction. Around 4.6 billion years ago, in a quiet corner of our Milky Way galaxy, a massive star lived its final moments. For millions of years, it had fused hydrogen into helium in its core, balancing the forces of gravity and radiation. But that balance couldn't last forever. When its fuel ran out, gravity won. The star imploded, then exploded in a blinding supernova, an event so powerful it briefly outshone entire galaxies. That explosion was the spark. The shockwave from the dying star rippled through the surrounding space, slamming into a nearby cloud of interstellar gas and dust. This wasn't just any cloud, it was the cradle of our solar system. The blast compressed it, forcing it to collapse under its own gravity. What had been a diffuse, silent mist suddenly came alive, spinning and heating up as it shrank, forming a colossal disk of material, the Solar Nebula. At its center, matter crowded tighter and tighter until it ignited. A new star was born, our Sun. But the Sun's birth was only the beginning. The disk around it churned violently, a storm of rock, ice, and dust colliding in an endless cosmic dance. Every particle, from microscopic specks to boulder-sized chunks, was part of an epic construction project, one that would take millions of years. In these early days, the solar system was a place of fire and fury. Temperatures near the sun were scorching, hot enough to vaporize metals. Farther out, beyond the reach of the sun's intense heat, ices could survive. This temperature divide would determine everything the size, composition, and fate of the planets to come. Closer in, rocky materials like iron and silicates clumped together to form small, dense worlds, the seeds of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. In the colder outer regions where ices could solidify, the building blocks were more plentiful. Here, enormous planetary embryos grew, sweeping up gas and dust, becoming the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn, and the icy titans Uranus and Neptune. Yet, the process wasn't graceful, it was violent. Planetesimals, the small worlds forming from the dust, crashed into each other at tremendous speeds. Some shattered apart, others merged, growing larger with every collision. The solar system was a cosmic battlefield. One collision in particular would change everything. Roughly 4.5 billion years ago, a Mars-sized object, scientists call it Thea, slammed into the young Earth. The impact was catastrophic, melting both worlds and blasting a spray of molten rock into space. Over time, that debris coalesced into a single glowing sphere, the Moon. The same moon that still governs our tides and lights our night skies was born from chaos and fire. While Earth was forging its companion, Jupiter was wreaking havoc elsewhere. The gas giant's immense gravity acted like a cosmic bully, stirring up the solar system. Its pull hurled countless asteroids out of orbit, preventing a planet from ever forming between Mars and Jupiter, the region that became the asteroid belt. Without Jupiter's interference, we might have had another Earth-sized world between us and the giants. Instead, we have a scar, a belt of rubble that tells the story of what could have been. But Jupiter wasn't all bad news. Its gravity also protected the inner planets, deflecting comets and debris that might otherwise have obliterated young Earth. In a strange twist of fate, the same force that caused destruction also preserved life's future home. As time went on, the collision slowed, the dust cleared, the planets settled into their orbits. The solar system, once a raging storm, became a calm and ordered place. The sun, 
now stable, bathed its newborn worlds in light. Yet even as peace returned, the echoes of that chaotic birth remained. The craters on the moon and Mercury still bear the scars of those early impacts. Asteroids and comets, leftovers from the construction, still wander the outer regions, ancient fossils of that violent past. And somewhere beyond Neptune, in the frigid outskirts of the solar system, lies the Kuiper Belt, a region filled with icy remnants that never became planets. Out there drifts Pluto, small and distant, a reminder that the line between planet and leftover is sometimes blurred. The final shape of our solar system wasn't inevitable. It was the result of countless chances, tiny variations in temperature, timing, and motion. Had Jupiter formed a little closer to the Sun, Earth might never have existed. Had Theia missed its mark, we might not have a moon. Had the Sun's birth been slightly weaker, the whole system might have dispersed back into dust. Every world, every orbit, every moon is the outcome of cosmic luck. And perhaps that's what makes our solar system so extraordinary. It didn't have to happen this way. Yet here we are, living on a small blue planet, born from stardust and destruction. When you look up at the night sky, you're not just seeing stars, you're seeing the echoes of that beginning. The same dust that once swirled around a young sun now makes up the air you breathe, the oceans you swim in, and the very atoms inside your body. We are, quite literally, the children of that ancient chaos. Four and a half billion years ago, a dying star exploded, and in doing so, gave birth to a world that would one day gaze back at the stars, wondering where it all began. The answer is simple, yet profound. It began in the dust, and from that dust came everything.